All right, we're about to get, play the game called Folklore. That's better. This game uh, made on Irish folktale. Quite new, quite old. Came out in Sony. Yeah. Well, without further ado, let's get this game going. Anyway, a little, little bit of background story. Apparently, the company behind it is from Czechoslovakia, although all their sponsors appear to be Japanese, so as usual, we can't trust Wikipedia. Folklore 2 was meant to come out on the PS4. I haven't seen it yet, so eh, unfortunate. It was a good game in its time, Folklore. I mean, I never actually got to play it because what led to this was I was playing Fallout 3, went to buy an add on, an add on that was out on the PlayStation. Go figure. Microsoft, you bastards. So instead I scrolled down onto what else was under F. That's how I found Folklore. It had a pretty looking front cover which was like a giant panda. So I clicked on it. The music was great so I downloaded the demo. I liked the game. So, well, decided to play it. Right. Now since we're on the title screen. Since we're on the title screen, I thought I was jumping there. That was like annoying moments. Let's start a new game. Yes. Yes. Right, so well yeah yeah so folklore came out on PS3, I saw it was good. After three years I couldn't get a hold I couldn't get a hold of it. I didn't want to buy it online because that ruins the fun of searching through stores to get a game, doesn't it? Found it after three years of searching. Proper pleased. And now after eight years, another three years, I'm now playing it, so, yeah. Was it two years? I think it's two years. Mother, why did you wait so long? She could open the uh, letter the right way, I think, you know, like, rather than just sticking a knife through the side, I could just actually you. take a eh, whatever. As as I go. Terrible Irish, just get us a little terrible Irish the accent there. We'd never make it back. I have a family to look after, Miss. So leave me out of this. There's a family to look after, so he won't just stop on us on the seaside for the first night. Wait, I must see my mother. It's for your own good. Thank you. I appreciate it. So you decide after you've taken about half the trip, she's probably paid for it. He's gonna turn around. Look, no, she's definitely gonna die. Look, she jumped into the river with all her clothes on, and that girl does not look like a swimmer. Yeah, shit's gone red. She's definitely dying. And judging by what's about to transpire, my kind of guy. Eventually, we'll learn the truth. Basically, I remember a quote about that from watching an anime called Psychopaths of an actual scientist, where he goes, "Advanced science is no different from magic." God, I want them to do scientists to discover magic. Then we will be gods. Just a bit of background knowledge there, you know, unknown realms. You see that on the magazine front cover. That was actually what the title of this game was originally intended to be called. It. Obviously, it's a crap name, so they went folk. Editorial folklore. department, unknown Damn realms. Fine name. Help! Help me! Please. Oh, by the way, folk. The. Uh, okay, okay. We in, we in, we're back. All right. So folk is another name for the Irish called fairies. That's what they call them. And folk can be all manner of things. Spirits of the dead, spirits of everything. So don't get too bogged down if the game doesn't make an awful lot of sense. Because that's the the great thing about Irish folk tales. Well, this this fella's a. An interesting character deciding you'll go to a village of the deceased. 
Hey. We see this kind of prank all the time. It looks a bit like the Joker from behind. This one seemed different. So, I headed to the village of Dulin. What he doesn't, I'll tell you what he doesn't look like, a writer or a journalist. I mean, where the hell do you get one of those cloaks? I do not see a person in England walking around one of those things. And he's meant to be an English journalist, I assume. Is it you, Mother? What is the significance so of this glowing medallion? It's very hard without you. I was so young. Now why she left? But that doesn't matter Because she's deaf. She didn't hear you say, come back. Why won't you answer me? Because she's deaf. Thought we went over this. Excuse me. What? Are you the one who telephoned me? Clearly not. This game was made in the assumption it was the 1980s when no one has a phone. What about the lady over there? Not a factual reference. Oh, Christ. Looks like she nodded off there by the cliff. Probably not a good idea. But, uh, she's also animal friendly. And we get faster. Well, oh, that's what. How much? Uh, someone! Someone, please! Right, so we've got what, like five minutes of talking trips still. A murder in the village of the dead. A murder in the Tell village of the dead. You did, but it's not ironic at all. Yeah. Hey, Mother! Hey, Mother! Why do I play folk clock? Because it has good music. Now, we could be Ellen. For those who skipped the first five minutes of pointless film, that is the prologue for Ellen. That was everything that took up the space of about three minutes. That's the prologue for Keats that took up about three minutes. Probably the better prologue video thing. Now, I'm not one of those weird guys that you see on the net that will go, because it's going to have. Gonna pick a girl. Oh, 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 oh. Gonna pick a girl because they usually have interesting characters and all that crap. No, no, we're sticking with Keats, my lads. We're sticking with Keats, my lads and ladies. Ew. You better have an interesting story, Keats. According to the reviews online, the stories do not vary that much, so hopefully. This just means I get to stay being a guy, so. We're gonna be reading Keats' lines, I assume. So she's run off to the beach. Looks like we'll be meeting a corpse. So the question is, who could have healed her and why? Be surrounding the minimap at the top left of the screen. Anyway, I'm not sure we, we're too concerned with uh, meeting a corpse. Who knows? She could still be alive. She fell off a cliff, but you know, she could have fallen into the sea. There's, there's plenty enough situations where people have survived from that kind of stuff. This guy is way too pessimistic. I mean, look at that. She, she could have easily survived that fall. She's probably not even going to be down there. You know, we just saw some gust of wind and then a shore, so she could still be alive. Probably. Yeah, looks like someone's unconscious down here. But it's not who we're looking for. It's my it'll be my female voice. Oh no, what the So there is life here. What are you doing here? I'm a journalist. A woman called me for help. When I thought I'd found her, she fell from the cliff. Then the girl goes into shock. With her, are related. For now, is there permission to rest? No one asked any questions about this woman, and that guy, that woman had already had been in shock down there, and that other woman had been down there by the time we got here. So, you, you guys seem to be kind of glassing over the final details of this situation. He's talking as if he got there first. Or a dump. Hardly fit for a dog. I'm assuming purple means like it's in his head. 
At least she has a bed. I don't even have that. Keats is now going to make out Dracula voice. Ugh, oh, the body aches. My questions can wait for tomorrow. Want to know more? Seek the pub. The people here are out of this world. Hmm. What was that? Am I hallucinating? Some kind of prank? Well, any lead is better than no lead. Time to investigate. Right, memo pad save, that's all that subtitle meant. We'll do a quick save, then we'll get back to carrying on with the game. Alright, save complete. Looks like we don't even own a bed. Don't know why we're living in a cave and we sleep on couches. Poverty calls. How did this guy even end up living in some random castle on the edge of town? It's such a he lives in. Um, selected the map screen to which we're not. Are we on the map? We're not even on the map. That's some good pointers. So you have to estimate where you think you are on the map. Right, we're into the pub, and I'm going to assume the most brightest built there and build with lights on is a pub, so here we go. Scene. Another visitor? Who is it now? A gentleman? Oh, shit happened in the pub. Ah, from the magazine. Someone phoned him. An occult magazine? What nonsense! Any nonsense, floating chubby lady. You speak loosely for figments of my imagination. Ha! It's a straight back from Keats there. Right, golly. Nah. No, this is real. We're here to help you to time on your records. Go to the Neverworld and seek the dead. Your guide awaits you beyond the door. Yeah, I'll just exit that. Let's do a quick round up at the pub and have a have a look see at what people have to say. Let's go talk to Treebeard, the bartender, first. Right. Since we are not buying anything, we're not going to do a download quest. Since we don't even know what quests are, we're not doing quests. So have a conversation with Treebeard. My name is Gonko. Think of me as the barman of the pub at night. We're open every night, but can't seem to attract many people. Living ones, at least. Here after the past soul, are you? Well, then, the never world is the place to be. He changed from like a normal English sentence to pirate accent. Someone needs to do these sort of plot issues. Talk to the pig guy. Oh, hello. My name is Jimmy Squarefoot. Not to be confused with SpongeBob Squarepants. Did you don't believe you can meet the dead? Did you will? You? Well, if I can talk to a speaking pig, I think it's not too far beyond my capabilities. Well, just have a look outside. You won't believe what's going on out there. Or was I meant to go going? Maybe it's going to be a long stretch on the G. Bloody nonsense. There's two witches in the corner. I'll talk to the better looking one. Hee <laughs> hee. Not exactly a cool one, are you now? By the way, her name is Frizzy. Hello. My name is Ed. Without a bell? Such a sad thing. Someone else from the village has died. What shall come of this? Who uses the pub at night then? Come on, which woman? Belage the Invisible is waiting for you. It must be some kind of plot. To lure you into the never world. I wish they did their own voiceovers for this. Damn these cheap japs. For these new, old, new releases.
Good evening. Headline mystery voice revealed. My apologies, but do oblige me by following my lead. We are certainly as gentle as spirits go, but that get up and go in a fancy dress? Every invisible man need it. Was the afternoon mystery solved? No. And I'm without a clue. May I suggest an interview with the deceased? I am Balage, and I can instruct you on making contact. Spiritualism died out a hundred years ago. We can't print rubbish about channeling and seances. <laughs> ah, but I sense that you are a man of deep curiosity. Accompany me to the Henge, where we shall try an experiment. You should be most pleased by the results. Looks like we're off to Stonehenge, lads and ladies. In the middle of Ireland. I think we're in Ireland. We're probably in Ireland. Right, even though I haven't told us, I'm pretty sure it's south. I'm going to ignore Blage. Because he's going to follow us, I'm sure, when he feels like it. I think this is Stonehenge. Yep. Yep, this is Stonehenge. Okay, this seems like a most opportune place as any to stop the recording. God, stop the recording? There we go. Need a second go. Right.